The other story that just won't go away, the situation in Israel where the fighting is now in its 34th day. We have two reports from there. First, Charlie Daggett in Tel Aviv. Charlie. Good morning, Bob. Once again, uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reiterated that Israel will not negotiate while under fire, and they say they have no intention of sending an Israeli delegation back to Cairo for any kind of peace talks. But he went further today, saying at no stage did Israel declare that this military offensive was over. He said it was going to take time and patience. Now, we haven't returned to the, the kind of intensity of more than a week ago, but the Israeli Defense Forces say that Hamas has fired something like 110 rockets uh, from Gaza into Israel, mostly short-range rockets and mortars that are hitting the border towns, none of the long-range missiles capable of hitting Tel Aviv. But they say that Hamas broke this ceasefire even before it ran out on Friday. In return, the Israeli military has launched something like 150 airstrikes at suspected Hamas targets inside Gaza. Israel says that they have no intention of even addressing the demands of Hamas until these rockets stop. And until that happens, they have no intention of stopping these airstrikes. Charlie Daggett in Tel Aviv. Charlie, be safe. Thank you. And CBS News foreign correspondent Clarissa Ward joins us now from Gaza City. Clarissa, what is the uh, latest down there? Good morning, Bob. Well, since that ceasefire expired, we have heard a steady stream of rockets being fired by Hamas from Gaza into Israel. And Israel, of course, has been returning fire with airstrikes, with artillery. 16 Palestinians have been killed so far. Now, obviously, this bombardment is nothing like on the level that we've heard over the past few weeks, but still it has an effect. Uh, daily life here has ground to a halt. People are staying in their homes. The streets are empty. And really, there's no sense that that's going to change anytime soon with those diplomatic talks in Cairo at a standstill and with Hamas vowing to ratchet up their attacks. Clarissa, what can Hamas possibly hope to achieve here? Well, Bob, at this stage, politically, Hamas cannot afford to walk away from this latest conflict without extracting some concession from the Israeli side. The people here have paid such an enormous price over the past few weeks. But what's interesting is that there is widespread support here for continuing the war, even among people who don't necessarily like Hamas. And that's really because of one major issue, the blockade on Gaza, which has been in place since 2007. Most people here saying they will do whatever it takes, even continue this war, if it means that they can somehow get that blockade lifted. All right, Clarissa Ward, thank you so much, Clarissa.